If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am finally going to get that Morphe review, I promise, up and ready for you guys. So I was traveling for work and I was out of makeup um, and I was in a mall that had a Morphe store. And we have them in Dallas, but they're not so close. So I went in there and bought up some stuff real quick. Didn't color match too well, so I did go back and get the right color of foundation. So this was a good review. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. If you're interested in seeing the new, I well, not the new, but new for me. <laughs> but if you're interested in seeing in seeing my thoughts about the Morphe um, collection, I got the powder, the eyebrow stuff, the eyebrow kit it was a great deal. I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, concealer and foundation. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So let me of course show the products. The foundation comes in a tube like this. I got, for initially I got F4.70. It was a little too red for me, a little too deep, rich. Um, so I went back and got F4.60. I actually like the combination of them too. I'm not, I'm used to mixing two foundations. I've had to do it almost with every single foundation. If I don't do that, then I have to do some color correcting with my concealers, which I could do with this still, but I wanted to go back and get the, a better shade. Um, I also got a brush set. It came with this foundation brush with a nice full powder puff and a concealer brush with a miniature powder puff. Really, really like it. Um, Good quality brushes always from Morphe, I feel like. The concealer looks like this, and this is like this standard concealer. I had to get two of those as well, because the first one I got was a little too cool. I got foundation that was a little too warm, and then that was, was a little too cold, so my bad. And then the pressed powder I got was um, a little too warm as well. Sorry, I don't know if you can see it. But it is something I could still use probably in the summer if I just need to touch up a little bit of like the outer or the darker portion of my face. I got the eyebrows, which I'm gonna put pictures of all of the packaging and stuff, but it came in a set. I went ahead and got the set versus just the versus just the pomade that I usually like to use. And in the set, it came with a um, highlighter pencil, like if you were on the go, which is nice and the actual brow pencil, which is nice for when you're in a hurry. And then also a brush with a spoolie and the angled brush for you to, oh, and the eyebrow gel to set and forget those eyebrows, <laughs> to actually set it and hold the eyebrow hair still and where you actually put it. So I love this. I use Anastasia pomade and Anastasia gel before this. Guys, I don't think I'm going back. This whole set of four eyebrow things in one package was $18. So it was a great, it just made me love Morphe even more. Like you guys know I go hard for Morphe and I ain't even gotta like deal with them yet in Jesus name. Um, <laughs> but I all I use palette wise is Morphe up here. So it's because it's always a good deal and quality stuff. I legit love the eyebrow stuff so far. And I'm picky with eyebrow stuff. Gotta moisturize the lips. Sorry. Alright, so let me go ahead and do what I said I was gonna do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of each foundation color like I told you because I mixed them up. Let's begin the application. a little too much of the darker one um, but as you can see I didn't put much on that was just one a, like coverage is amazing and buildable um, if you needed even more coverage I 
onto eyebrow. All right, so I am gonna use the Morphe brush. I haven't been using it because I'm just like addicted to my MAC um, angled brush, but it's just the same. And this is a true Morphe tutorial or review. So let's do it. All right, so I'm just throwing them on pretty quickly. The shaping isn't A1 yet, but we're gonna go back and of course, um, get them cleaned up. So let's grab my Morphe concealer for that and my concealer brush. about the shape today it's about the review of these products so as you can see it's a nice steady creamy um, not too thick not too thin concealer personally after good getting a few wears out of it it sets a little differently than I usually like um, so I'll finish up here in a second So one thing, I did not get a concealer for my contour, so we'll just contour with powder versus liquid um, and finish up this nose. And this time I'm going to bake it up. When I've been wearing it previously, I was on a work trip. I was just at work here. Um, not really anything or any reason to glam. So I haven't actually been baking it. I've been setting it with RCMA powder, which is amazing by the way. But um, I haven't been actually baking it. So let's see if that changes my opinion on the overall review. Um, that I have to share with you guys at the end here. I'm just gonna set my eyelids. I don't really want any eye look today. But I don't want them to be creasy and gooey. So I just reorganized my whole vanity and I'm having a hard time like getting used to putting things back where I got them from. You know, like a real adult show. But I want it to stay super cute and organized. I'm actually gonna share some tips and tricks with you guys on how I did that and how it was super affordable and actually like so amazing stress. <laughs> so while we're baking that, I'm going to use a little bit of the Morphe powder. You see how dark it is? That's why I don't use it like all over my face, just like on the outer portion of my face for like some like a bronzer for me. Get some richness in my skin. And then we'll go ahead and contour with this powder. And uh, with the, I'm sorry, with my standard contour powder, which is the 360 Mocha Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm also going to powder, I'm sorry, I'm also going to contour my nose with that same Fit Me Powder before I spray, since this is another powder. We're going to also spray with the Morphe spray, which I love, a continuous stream of spray. 
And I don't have a Morphe blush or highlighter just yet. But, so let's, let's leave it like this. Um, but I'm sure they look great. I just haven't gotten it yet. I'm not on that level. Oh, we need to do the final touches. After the powder, I always like to do the gel on my eyebrows. So like the powder that is left in my eyebrows like goes away. So it's not ashy looking. And so my eyebrows can stay where they need to all day. Especially since they're super long right now. All right, so how do you like it? Very natural, full coverage still, lightweight, super comfortable. I love all of it. I will say that I do hope that, you know, there's a better shade match for me. Since there's so many shades, I feel like I could be a little closer to my correct one since I just grabbed these two. I might actually go in and have somebody like help me sit down, get a good like light in front of me, all of that stuff and get the right shade. If not, like I said, with all the other brands, I've always mixed two colors together to get the perfect shade anyway. And even if you're slightly off, again, you can color correct with your contour and your highlight if you get the right concealers for that. So it's all about balance. All of our hues are completely different. There's not going to be a, some, of, some people are blessed to have one um, foundation that can cover their whole face and be good. I've never been that person since I've worn makeup. I've never been able to do that. So, um, but I'm really impressed. Like the prices of this, I went in there and bought almost a full face. Didn't even spend a hundred dollars. I think it came to like 88 with tax and everything. Like it's unheard of. So I just, I truly love Morphe. I appreciate them. I suggest you guys try them again. I don't have any affiliate affiliation with them, but I will always rep a good deal. You guys know that. So I say give them a try. Um, I do like baking the foundation. I can already see a difference. So when I was just briefly sweat, um, setting um, my con or my full face with RCMA powder, which is a great mattifier. I do feel like as the day went on, that mattifying powder, you know, seeped in as it usually will if you have oil or if you sweat or if you're moving around. So I do think I'm going to go back to baking. Uh, I use my Laura Mercier, which is like a never fail for me. Um, and I, I do like how it looks so far. Even though I look like pretty and finished because it's not like a full plan review again with my lashes and my liner and my eye look, but I did want to share the items that I got from Morphe regarding the face and eyebrows and I love it guys so give it a try it's extremely affordable the eyebrow kit was $18 when my look my Anastasia one item was $28 you can't beat this the foundation I think is 16 or 19 the concealer is nine bucks so it's it's a great deal so go online if you don't have a store near you um, some Ulta's carry it, um, and get you some. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.